to sleep, have my uh, my crystal pyramids with me, with the sun beaming on me, absorbing that energy, with that refracted prism light, breaking that light into many, many different spectrums. But uh, so I'm feeling very euphoric. So forgive me if you can hear things in the background. We're gonna push through it anyways. So this video will be quick and it will be about um, the elements and black holes okay um, what are the elements I'm talking about earth wind and fire and not and not your parents old school singing group you know I'm talking about reasons the reasons that we no <laughs> boy I have bubbles right now but no, I'm talking about earth wind fire water Four main elements. This is what um, this is what your Yahweh is. It's the elements and the directions: north, east, south, west, and the elements. Because each element is assigned to a direction, a cardinal direction. Okay. So we're talking about earth, wind, fire, water, and then the hidden fifth element of ether. We'll get into ether later. That might even be a separate video. So, um, the reason why the elements are so important is because everything on this planet, everything on this plane of existence has to do with the elements. They are a combination of one, two, three, or all four of the elements that are here. So, for example, um, the tripod is a combination of elements. Um, the printer, that's a combination of elements. Me, I am a combination of elements. You, you're a combination of elements. Um, the blinds, the couch, the carpet, these are all combinations of elements. As far as people go, uh, we are earth, that is the flesh. We are wind, that is the breath. We are water, that is, uh, water could be a few different things. Um, Water could be the intuition. Uh, water could be the water that is really in our body. Or, and we are fire. Fire is the blood. Fire and water go together. That's why fire and water can be the blood. You know what I mean? But fire is the blood. That is the, the, the source energy. You see? So physically, you are an encapsulation of the elements. Your soul. Your soul being the fifth your, your the soul energy is the fifth respectively like I said I can get into ether as a as a whole separate video so we're going to continue um, so it is important to cherish nurture appreciate um, and respect the elements as far as your body is concerned um, by watching what you eat because what you eat is the earth. You're eating from the earth. So the more you adjust um, higher forms of earth to intake, the more you adjust the element inside of you. Your breathing, the more you cherish and worship your breathing as air, how you breathe, when you breathe as air, the more you elevate that element in you. Water, the more pure water you intake into your vessel, the purest the water, the more that you elevate that element in you. Fire, energy, the sun, the more of the sun energy that you intake, the higher that energy is in you. And you can cross these elements and double up on them, you can have fire and water, water and earth. Earth, fire and water. You know, you can make combinations. Like, for example, a fruit is a combination of earth because it comes from the earth. It's a combination of fire because the sun gave it the energy to even exist. And it's a combination of water because you have to water the vegetation for it to, um, to grow. 
also because it is a plant it gives off it gives oxygen so there's a combination of four elements that you can intake by just eating fruits and vegetables that's why um, becoming a vegan is what it is I am not one I'm working on myself I am a uh, prod a, a product in progress <laughs> you know what I mean but um, yeah but not even on the earth plane of existence on higher levels of existence these elements still exist that's the key once you start to learn keys just apply them to the levels so even on a cosmic level these elements exist that's why in school you have the periodic table of elements because the elements are have already existed before us you see so the human or the hue man break down that word hue meaning different uh categories of light man you see what i'm saying you see where i'm going with it i could do a whole separate video on human because we may or may not be that some of us ain't you know what i'm saying but anyways um the physical being that is on this this planet um was created with these cosmic elements because they were cosmic before they were here um, so we are made up of cosmic things um, including uh, the planets we are made up of planetary material um, we are made up of all cosmic material including black holes black holes are what old imploded stars or old imploded suns suns that have exploded but imploded on themselves to create uh, a super dense mass ball that uh, pulls things into it black holes no light can escape a black hole you my friend and me are made up of all this cosmic materials including black holes to give you an example, <laughs> a couple examples of black holes is your two pupils in your face called your eyes. If they work correctly, these are two mini micro black holes because the fact that you can see is letting you know that light is coming in. No light can escape a black hole that's why you can see you understand now these black holes aren't made to absorb all light but they are versions of black holes your pineal gland is a mini black hole because it absorbs more spectrum of light than the visible light it absorbs almost all spectrums of light other than visible light that's why they call your pineal gland the first eye or the third eye but it's really the first eye because it was formed before your two eyes but that's a whole nother video women this is why the woman is so powerful because they have these two they have these two eyes, these two black holes. They have this black hole, but then they have another black hole that men don't have. It's called the yoni, or the vesica pisces, or better known as the vajayjay. This is, this black hole is how light, um, It pulls in light from the men through our semen. It pulls that because semen and sperm are light. Little lights. The yoni pulls that in. Then that's how life is created. And then it puts life back out or light back out. And that's the special thing about the Visica Pisces or the JJ or pussy. Is that it can intake light and spit the light back out. That's what makes that black hole 
a portal. See, some scientists believe that black holes in space are portals from one dimension to the other dimension, which very possibly may be true. I don't know. I haven't been. <laughs> they may have been in a black hole. I haven't been to a black hole in space. But as they say, as above, so below. I have been to a black hole in space. It's called my mama's womb. You see, it brought me from one dimension to the next dimension. That's how it works. So this is my quick video on the elements and black holes.